So right off, right off the bat here, the Appalachian Trail in Pennsylvania gives you rocks. That's what it's known for, Pennsylvania, Rocksylvania, they call it. Uh, this, this hike is very easy to get to. It's right off, you pull literally, literally right off of 501, Route 501, Bethel, and uh, head east. Uh, I find a lot of my my trails that I like to go to or go on on all trails. It's an app you can download. Uh, pretty good. It's it's pretty beneficial. The reviews of of other hikers that've been there and uh, lots of good stuff. But it sounds like a lot of wildlife today. I've seen some deer tracks and. Uh, Hopefully we get some of them uh, rattlesnakes. <laughs> I really enjoy watching them. I don't handle them, I just take photos of them. But here's some of the rocks that you get. So you, I'd advise wearing boots on, <laughs> on any part of the Appalachian Trail here in Pennsylvania. But uh, yep, you can see the greens popping out in the trees. Should be a good day. Okay, we'll talk to you again. Okay, as you can see, all the rain we had did do us a favor. Everything is green. Looks so majestic. <laughs> Pennsylvania, you know, people don't realize how beautiful this place is until you get out and get off that couch you're sitting on and explore a little bit. Great morning. Okay, I'll get back to you. Yeah, as I noted before on another video, there's plenty of camping area around the Appalachian Trail for the hikers. Uh, not far in, you can see this. Pretty self-explanatory. So you come over here. That way's the spring. That would be Appalachian Trail going straight. And this way to to the camping spot, which I'll 
I'll take a gander up over here. I was here when it was uh, it was the winter time actually, and it was pretty windy. But it's a lot better when it's green here. I got some extra time, so I'll. This is like a little off trail, so you're not camped right on the Appalachian Trail. Because uh, this is the time of year where the people that had left Georgia should be hitting Pennsylvania pretty soon. And here's a here's one of those box. Usually they have these out near camp camping areas or you know trailheads that you can sign a book, say where you're going. Let's check it out here. Yeah, as you can see. Pretty much what you see in them is a. This is called the Appleby campsite. For people who stay here, you sign on it. You know, see who's. Sometimes people team up on the Appalachian Trail, going from north to south, south to north, and uh, they sign it to see where they're at ahead of them. You know, they'll date it, time, whatever. But yeah. This is a very, very good community of people in it that you see in here, I mean, they're really nice people, most of the time. You can see right there, here's one, it's not far off the main trail, but it's off, and it's a little, it's campsites. I mean, you could fit a lot of people, a lot of tents, a lot of hammocks in here. Nice big fireplace. Seats. There's some camping area over in there, too. Pitch a tent. The ground seems to be fairly soft here. Big, nice open area. Pretty cool, huh? stuff that makes me want to come out here again. I mean to see what people do for each other. <laughs> Usually in in society or in around work or in around school or whatever. People judge uh, judge you by what they think they know about you. <laughs> but out here you only let people know what you want them to know and uh, be yourself. Whatever you bring in, take with you. So I hope, hope uh, the winds get through. Come out and find, find different things to do. Get up, whether it's hiking, whether it's just walking in the bush for a little bit. The sounds, <laughs> the wildlife, the people, come out and enjoy. Forget about society for a while. Could change your life. Could change your life. Okay, I'll get back to these again. See it. Okay, it was a pretty self-explanatory section of the hike for Pennsylvania. Rocks. 
So I'll just just take your time going over them, and it should be should be all right. Uh, if you're in a hurry or think you can can convert them through uh, hustling because you're in a hurry for some reason, uh, you're probably going to get hurt. So you try to pick your steps and just take your time. But there are sections that go on for miles and miles like this. <laughs> so uh, got a good pair of shoes. Okay, we'll see ya. Okay. <laughs> Here's an intersecting kind of logger road. But as you can see from all the rain, the road turned into a creek pretty much. <laughs> all the way down through. This is where we're going. Lots of mud here. Must be a spring or something, but here in Pennsylvania we did have a lot of rain, so it's part of the trail. It's part of the trail. Rocks, mud, whatever you come across, part of the trail. This is why I do it. <laughs> it's a good day. Okay, hopefully we'll be getting up on these. Uh, we're gonna start going up, so hopefully uh, we'll get to these views, get some good pictures, and uh, get you some views too. All right, see you next. Okay, coming up on our. One of the first, or the first view uh, for today. It's not named or anything. It's just a little hole poked through the trees that you can get <clears throat> a uh, <clears throat> half decent shot of the the valley. Uh, you can hear, it's, I think it's Interstate 78 down there, and uh, there's a Bethel Valley here. You just have to keep an eye out for our serpent friends. You never know why they might be stashed, and you don't want to upset them. So let's go down here and get a nice little picture for you here. Uh, beautiful, huh? Sun's out. I think it's a little humid today. That's why you see the uh, haze. It's a nice spot here under the shade. Come on out and enjoy, people. Come on out and enjoy. Okay, here we are. This might be another view here. the way we're going to be going. <laughs> going to scramble across that to keep going, but uh, here's another view. Uh, we're going to be heading over there. If you can see, we're going to be over around in that area there. The round head area. But here's a
pretty cool, huh? <laughs> okay, I'll get back to you as soon as I find something else interesting. Okay, here we are on a, what you call a rock scramble. These are actually better to walk in on than the little rocks. <laughs> you have more surface area to step on. You just have to still be careful because they do move. All right, we're coming to another vista or lookout. <laughs> they place the markers wherever they can, right? We'll be going that way. Well, let's go check this out. Double winger trick plane. One out. Enjoy. Don't use the excuse you can't find time. Make time for yourself. All right. We'll see you. Okay. Here's parts. Another way you can tell Pennsylvania with the laurel. Uh, I love these little sections where uh, the laurel's like actually reaching out for you <laughs> to connect with you or, you know, to say, hey, what's up, dude? Give you a dap or a high five. Uh, but it is a very beautiful whenever you encounter it. The only thing that would make this a little better would be a couple pine forests. I like pine. I like pine. <clears throat> but there's not too many in this section of the of PA. Or, I mean, the section of the Appalachian Trail. So peaceful. No wind. Oh, well, here's the birds chirping. I passed a through, or uh, I should say a through hiker passed me. Uh, she was moving pretty good. I left her get a bit ahead of me, so. Okay. Uh, we'll be coming up here. A couple more views. And stay tuned for the words of wisdom, wisdom from the Keystone Hiker. All right, thank you everybody.
All right, <clears throat> I'm coming up on the destination. Uh, I did pass a uh, another vista that I'm gonna go back to and probably eat, eat lunch there. Uh, but I wanted to come out here because the clouds are starting to roll in. I know we're supposed to get showers, so I wanted to to get this uh, our destination point out of the way. So, but on the way back, you you have this monument, I guess. It's for the Blue Blue Mountain Eagle Climbing Club, 1934 still standing imagine the people that seen <laughs> or the things that seen the weather it endured <laughs> pretty cool okay let's take a let's take a trip down here There's other ways to get to this. You can park at the bottom and come up. This is uh, also known as uh, shower steps. I believe that trail would be called that. Uh, I think there's a sign down here we'll be able to see, but yeah, huh. right on cue. The entrance is pretty, pretty cool. A lot of people usually gather here, so it's fairly early, 8.30 in the morning, something somewhere around there, but uh, I hope we get here before the crowds, I guess. There's your vista. Stretch them eyes out. It's not the sunniest of days, but any day here is good. And there's the entrance. If you would come up from the bottom of uh, shower steps, is what it's called. I think it's a mile, but it's uphill the whole way. I'm not sure about the mileage on that, but this is our destination point. Like I said, I'm going to go back to another vista see what we can have there maybe some lunch whatever okay thank you for sticking around all right here we are at the entrance to the vista I was I'm gonna sit and have lunch at it's right by these campsites there's also one across the road there's Plenty of them here around this area, so lots of room for the AT hikers or day hikers, night hikers, weekend hikers, whatever kind of hiker you want to be. Let's walk out here to the list of here. Let's see what this beholds.
lots of rock outcrops up here. Oh yeah. See that over there? That was where I pointed out where we were going to be. So we kind of went around the went around the mountain a little bit, traversed over to here, and here we are. So that's what down. Lots of rocks here. To eat a little bit. I'll get back to you in a little bit for the words of wisdom. Thank you. All right, we're we're nearing the end of uh, this video. I uh, hope you all enjoyed it. I want to thank you all for supporting me and. Uh, watching my videos. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, if you can, get out. Get out and enjoy this. <laughs> There's a lot to see. Uh, you can look at other people's pictures. You can look at other people's videos. But the best camera there is, is your own eyes. Uh, out here, uh, people will see, see things differently. Uh, just like in life, people see things different. Not everybody sees things the same. With that being said, I just want to give a shout out to my daughter, Montana, for <laughs> putting my videos together for me. And uh, a little words of wisdom. Don't wish life was easier. Wish you were better. Thanks for joining me here on uh, the Keystone Hiker. And I hope you enjoyed it. Get off your seat and move your feet. Thank you.